Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your July 2018 reading. This is just a little bit different format. It's just for this month, okay? It is, it's, I'll go back to my old spread and all the whole nine yards when I'm done. I just felt like doing this one like this. I don't know why I was called to do it this way, so that's how it's going to be. This is for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind that this reading may not be for you. Okay, it may not be your reading. So for those of you that want to comment underneath, this doesn't resonate or something stupid, please realize that this may not be for you. Um, and, I, you know, I don't think that you guys are stupid. There's a lot of cross watchers here. You know, whatever. Heart chakra. I love. I love. That's also about healing. Self-love. Look at this. More chakras. We have the we have the uh, sacral chakra. That is the I want. This is desires. So we have I love. This is self-love. And this is desires. Okay. Then we have the four of wand, wands, which is happiness. You could be attending some gathering this month. Oh, Jesus, isn't that nice? We have the Four of Cups. The Five of Cups. The Three of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. The Chariot. And the Lover's Card. Beautiful. So your self-love is calling in a lover if you are single, okay? Because you love yourself, because you, you realize your worth, you know, you, you allow yourself to heal. It, it, it is calling in some sort of, of union, okay? Whether it's a soulmate or not, you are calling in somebody, all right? But I just want to make sure that this is focused. I am going to get clarifiers as well. You guys may be focusing on your independence, okay, at this time. You know, I'm working on my, on myself, okay. I'm working on my own inner abundance. I'm working on my gratitude. I'm working on understanding who I am at this time. So you guys may not be really focusing on love at this time because you're working on yourself and that's this is this is the past position but you know I think this is is the past into now you guys are working on healing you're working on your soul so you may feel a little discontent you may feel a little unavailable to love because when you're going through these changes or you're going through this period of healing and realizing who you are and becoming abundant with all that you are and all that is, you may need to go through this period of um, discontent and boredom, okay? So I feel as though you are gaining some sort of self-love through independence and it is bringing you abundance, it's bringing you wisdom, and it's bringing you strength. You will be rewarded for it. You will, okay? Because this is the Nine of Pentacles. It's You will be rewarded for the hard work that you are putting into yourself. That's what's been going on lately and it's probably still happening, okay? As that is happening, your desires are growing. They are. You are fi you're figuring out what it is that you want. You are. And, and I feel as though you are headed towards victory and success very quickly because you're, you're learning to master your emotions. You're, you're, you're learning to replace fear with faith. You are headed in the direction, in a new direction very quickly. But you're still suffering. You are still suffering over some sort of loss, okay? Um, some sort of heartache, some sort of disappointment, emotional disappointment is still there. It's still there. So this is this is the middle card. I consider the middle card the basis of this reading. You're still suffering. You're still healing. You're still working it out. But you're starting to realize that those desires that you have are real and that eventually you're going to have to follow them, okay? So I feel as though you are headed towards victory and success. You are, you're getting your life back on track. It's, it may be taking a little bit of time. 
you're learning to appreciate yourself more than ever. You really are. I feel as though there is some sort of... Well, I'm going to read the card. Recognition and reward that is coming to you for all the hard work that you are doing. This is like the reward after suffering. So you are going to be recognized for the work that you have done on yourself. Okay, people, you know, everywhere are going to be recognizing the new you that has become. You know, you are be, I think that you guys are, are releasing some things that, that have hurt you really, really bad in the past. And that does take a lot of inner work. So I feel like this is really, there's been a time of independence. It's still going on because you're still hurt, you're still healing. But your your desires are for something more are becoming more, more and more real. Okay? You're looking for happiness. You're looking for that contentment now. Whereas in the past, you probably were closed off to it. You know, you may have been a little closed off. So we're going to get some, some, um clarifiers but I do want to I want to talk about your reward here so you are your remember I said you are going to be rewarded for your hard work if you are single there could be an unexpected um, person that shows up in your life and this is very unexpected this person is not your usual type and you may have to make a decision whether you whether you're ready to let them in you know you could meet this person at a gathering you can meet them at a wedding you can meet them at a church gathering you could meet them at any place where there's a bunch of people together, you know, where there's a, where because the, this is a card of togetherness as, as well. It's a three of pentacles. So wherever there's a bunch of people, you could even meet them at work, okay? But anyway, I feel like you are going to meet somebody where when you're out and about, you're, you're, you are um, attending something. And I think that you're going to, you're going to run into somebody and you're going to, feel very familiar with them, you're going to feel a connection with them almost instantly, it is going to happen um, unexpectedly. Now this will not be for every single person because some of you aren't ready. This is if you are ready, if you are, if you're ready to face the fears, the fears of being hurt again, okay, if you're ready to face those fears, if you're ready to to move on and, and find that happiness. If you're feeling, if you have reached this period of inner abundance, that's when this, this peace and harmony and union comes into your life. Now that is an if. Some of you are going to continue to need to heal a little bit longer because that's, that's the basis. So we're going to get, but you have these desires. And remember I said that you are, your self love is calling someone in. I can see that that is exactly what is happening. I feel as though you guys are, are calling in perhaps a soulmate or an, or somebody that is going to be very, very well suited for you. And right now, divine timing is at work, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. You guys are going to have an unexpected choice in love. This is not who you think it is, okay? So, I don't want you to get that misconception that this is somebody from your past that's coming back and they're going to sweep you off your feet. Lose that thought, okay? This is somebody new because this is an unexpected choice in love. Typically, when I see the lover's card, and this is the way it's always been for me from day one, this is not who you think it is. It's not. This is somebody that you don't see coming. You don't see it coming. You, if this person is not your usual type. This person is somebody completely different and they, they kind of like throw you off guard because you totally didn't expect it. Okay, so I feel like there is an unexpected choice in love that is going to come into your life. I think that you are calling it in right now with your desires that are starting to grow after they've been shut down. I think you've shut down your desires for quite some time, but now they're opening back up. So as you open them back up, you're sending that message out to the, uh, you know, universe. Okay, well, as, as you start to des desire more and more and more, your thoughts become things and you're sending that out to the universe. Okay, and so they're reciprocating with this unexpected choice in love. This person is not the one you think it is. It's not an ex. It is not an ex. And you've got to let go of the thought that it is. 
that message came out for a reason. That was channeled. That whole message that I just said to you about it's not who you think it is was channeled. This is the Queen of Swords reverse is an X. Any sign. It's not your X. It's not. See, it's reverse. It's not your X. That's a loss. That person in your past wasn't trustworthy and they were an energy thief. So you need to stop holding on to that loss. This is a message that you need to hear. You have somebody better suited for you. You see where I've put these cards? I don't plan it. Somebody is thinking that their ex is the one they're holding on. It's causing a lot of heartache. This person wasn't good for you. They stole your energy. They're still stealing your energy. Even though you're starting to heal and you're starting to release, it's starting. You have somebody else. You have somebody else. You need to regain your focus. You need to regain your concentration. You need to be strong. You need to take the lead. You may you may shut down this new opportunity, this new opportunity of love. You may. You may. You're reluctant to, to accept it either way because you don't want to play any games. It's like, you know what? I don't want to play games. You know, so this person comes in unexpectedly. It, it's quite uh, seductive. I mean, you're you're attracted to this person that comes in. But you're still miserable over your ex in some way. You're still, you know, got that notion in your head that someday you're going to come back together. You know, that's still there. <sighs> you get offered this new opportunity with somebody that, you know, you do have a connection with. There is attraction. But you're reluctant to take it. You're reluctant to allow them in. You're reluctant because you're still holding on. You're still holding on to something that is dead. And it's getting old. And it's time to let it go. It's time to drop it. It's time to make a conscious change. Because eventually... This is going to lead to collapse and exhaustion. This baggage from this past ex needs to go. You need to find your strength to stop playing the games with the ex. You have an opportunity, you have an opportunity for new love. And it all starts with you loving yourself. Realizing that your desires are real. Knowing that you are worth happiness and commitment. Knowing that your ex is not the one. You have somebody else. Stop letting this person steal your energy. Whether you are talking to them or not. They are still stealing your energy. They are an energy thief. And you need to make a conscious change to let them go and stop playing the, these games. Stop holding on to something that is dead. You need to go through this transformation that is waiting for you. These are both transformation cards. Somebody has been resisting it by letting their energy be drained by somebody that doesn't see their worth. You have an opportunity to move forward with this chariot card. To master your emotions. Be the boss of your own life. Put yourself in the driver's seat and get the hell out of this situation once and for all. You have an opportunity for new love with somebody that is much better suited for you. But you may think that this that you don't want it. You may reject it. You may reject it. But you're being called to give it a give it a chance. Take a risk. Take a risk, Aries. Have faith. This is a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. And this could fulfill your, your wishes ultimately. It really could. And you may not see it that way. 
because I can see that you're still holding on to somebody that hurt you. You know, you're not, you're still a little resentful and you know, we all go there. But anyway, you're being called to take a risk. This could lead to a lot of happiness. This is a time of hope. That thing that you are involved in didn't work out because you were being protected because you have something better. Have faith in this new opportunity. Let go of your reluctance. This could lead to wish fulfillment in love. There's a new opportunity for love here, Aries, that you, you know, you're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to have courage. Have courage. And have faith. This could lead to a lot of happiness and contentment. Don't bring that baggage that the ex left you with, with you. Mm-mm. Don't. So Aries, I feel as though you have an opportunity. You have an opportunity, but then again, you know how free will plays a part. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. Come on now. You are being offered the Ace of Cups. You are being offered love. You're going to throw it away because of an ex who's bitter, uncaring, mean-spirited, and doesn't even communicate with you. It's all up to you whether you want to take it or not. So anyway, you have an opportunity, Aries. My advice to you is take it. Take it. It is time for you to fly. You got desires that need to be met. Seriously. Desires. Desires. This is something you've been wishing for. Maybe you've been wishing for it secretly, subconsciously. Like I said, your thoughts become things. I think that... I want to know who this person is. It could be an Aquarius. It could be um, there is a new sexual partner. Just just saying that flipped over, but you're still incomplete with the past. God damn it! Excuse my language. I'm sorry that f slipped out. Um, anyway, um, oh jeez, who is this person? Who is this new love? Who is this new love? Who is this new love? Could be an Aries like yourself. It really could be. Um, you probably will meet this person at a gathering as well. What, some kind of gathering. Oh, son of a gun. I'm trying not to swear. Um, geez, some crow. There's some sort of deception here. Sneaky business. Shady. Shady. And you fear shady, don't you? That's a shady individual. That's what you think, too. That is exactly what you think. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not sure about this. This would really seriously take a risk here. You know, if I offer my heart, that's that's scary. <laughs> so you may decide not to put in any effort. You may put it decide not to put in. This could be somebody that you work with. I'm not sure. I do see a new partner here, a new a new partner that could lead to something you've been manifesting. There is no doubt about it. You know, you want love. You think it's your ex. It's not your ex. But so when you think it's your ex, the universe sees that you want love. So yeah, they're call they're bringing somebody in, but you're scared to death. You're scared of being cheated. You're trying. You're like, you know, I don't trust you. I don't trust love. Period. Period. But, you know, you have to have confidence. You do. You do. You're, the universe is trying to progress you away from this ex. Damn it. Yeah, I think there is going to be some family get together, whether it's a... Uh, Whatever it is. I mean, it, there's going to be a family. You are definitely going to meet this person at a family get-together. Okay, where it's a, you know, a wedding. a could be a funeral. Could be a, um, 
you know, a family picnic, anything. You're going to meet this thing where there's a bunch of family around. You meet this thing, meet this person where there's a bunch of family around. Because the universe is trying to push. And there's going to be a spark. There is. And that's probably where you're going to be like, whoa, something's up. Something, You know, you're going to have your guard up instantly. Because there's going to be an instant attraction between you and this person. And you're just going to be like, you know, I know this person has something up their sleeve. This is too good to be true. But this is a this is a genuine opportunity with the Five of Cups reversed. You don't worry about it. Oh, you need to let your guard down. You're like, you know, I don't. Are you kidding me? You may, yeah. I feel like you feel like this isn't gonna be be happy. This isn't gonna lead to anything. You know, you feel like it's probably just they're, they're just looking for sex. You know, you may think that. You may think that they're not looking for anything solid. There, now we got it reversed. So this could be a genuine offer of love. Anyway, you're going to meet somebody at some gathering where there's a bunch of people. Whatever the gathering is, it doesn't really matter. Who the person is, I can't tell you what their sign is. I can't. It's not going to come up. But the, I feel like you're going to have your guard up. You're going to be like, are you kidding me? There's something up here. I know this isn't right. What are you hiding? You know, you may think that, you know, they're not telling you the truth. Whatever. You're definitely going to be on guard about it, you know. Like, man, this is too good to be true. This is, you know, my feelings, my, my desires or, or my attraction is over the top. And I, this can't be right. Maybe this is just lost. You may be thinking that. I don't know what you're thinking. But anyway, it feels as though this opportunity could lead to genuine love. With a long-term solid commitment. But you fear, you feel, you fear shady business. So that's something you got to overcome. And I do see that you need to replace fear with faith. With the fool in the chariot card, you need to replace fear with faith. Anyway, this is your advice for April. You have a new opportunity coming in. This is unexpected. It's not with your ex, so lose that thought. And this could lead to something genuine if you can let your guard down and have faith. No, oh, you may reject it because I don't see a whole lot of faith here, but you're being called to have it. Talk to you later.